Hello everyone, Deb here. Welcome back to my channel. I have got a traveler's notebook process for you. Now we had um, the NSD event over on Kidaholic Kits and this was Morgan's challenge. And it was tic-tac-toe and I chose the bottom row, purple sequin stars and four or more hearts. And I'm going to create this um, see-through layout shaker pocket type thing for my traveler's notebook. Uh, so I did grab a page protector. Um, it, I've got a few page protectors that have been bent and a bit damaged. So um, I grabbed one from my stash and I'm just going to measure it up and use my fuse tool to um, fuse the top, uh, fuse the side, sorry. Fuse down the side to get the size that I want. I'm just fusing it and I'm just using a bit of um, like that chipboard cut thick cardboard that you get I think it was in a pack of page protectors that I got oh no it might have been the envelopes from Becky Higgins and if you don't have a glass mat I find that um, this type of cardboard works really really good um, underneath your fuse, fuse tool <laughs> if I can get it right uh, so grabbing a piece of transparency because I do want to create a layout inside the pocket. So sorry about all the glare, there's a lot of plastic going on here. Um, and I'm just going to cut that down to size to fit inside my little uh, pocket here. Because I chose the um, bottom row, it called for purple. So I did pull out one of my um, older kits from Kitaholic Kits. And it was, I believe it was the Bohemian Dream. Yes. Um, which had a bit of purple in it. And I'm just going to match my photo in a bit of this purple. And then I come in with the floral piece. Now the photo is the promotional photo that we used for the NSD design team takeover event and that's what my layout's going to be about um, so just matting it on that floral piece and I do believe I mat it too with a bit of chill uh, we got some in these kits and I still had a little bit left over so I'm going to mat it behind the photo as well. So I did want to decorate the top of the pocket with um, a doily. Uh, so I, I did grab my compass out and I'm drawing a circle um, just to mat over the top of the doily and get the same shape. Um, I kind of messed up. I didn't get it on the camera, but I messed up with my doily and I ended up using a smaller doily, which I was happy with, and a smaller circle, but it still looks um, exactly the same. So just gluing down that jewel behind my photo and again sorry for the glare I was trying to keep it off to one side so my lights wouldn't hit the, um, the plastic so much. So I am going to back my photo with a bit of purple and um, somehow I've got it cut, cut it wrong <laughs> even though I measured. Um, cut it down a bit too short, but that's okay. I just wanted something to cover the back of the photo so you wouldn't see that mess of glue behind when you looked uh, behind the layout there when if you flipped it over. I found this cute little tab thing in the ephemera pack so I'm just going to pop that under my photo there and I'm going to grab some alphas and I believe they're from the April 
or 2017 kits it would have been April or March oh it says April on there and I'm just going to put um, NSD as the title just under my photo Now comes the fun part of filling this pocket up with sequins and beads and oh, Ava wanted the <laughs> pencil from the compass. She couldn't find her own pencil, had to have mine. Um, so I, I just put a mixture of, um, a, I think it was purple sequins, white sequins, um, gold sequins, gold beads. I found some little tiny purple stars put some gold hearts in there and actually while I was doing this all the sequins kept falling out the bottom I, I couldn't figure it out and it took me a little while but there was a little hole on the bottom uh, left there on the existing fuse line had um, split open so when I do get my fuse tool back out I do fix that up but yeah just having fun filling this up with all sorts of pretties. Now I did fuse the top of this closed and um, then I have to cut it open because I forgot to put my hearts in and um, so I just I cut it open I was actually about to put my doily on that and I realized oh no I forgot my hearts so I do grab the little tiny American Crafts um, punch that I got from Kidaholic Kit and I punch out some purple hearts and glue them back to back. I add the gold confetti hearts and I do add some, I know this is crazy. <laughs> there was these little um, purple kind of rhinestone-y hearts. Um, what would you call them? Yeah, um, they didn't have sticky back. So I glued them back to back and with my fingers that was just crazy <laughs> I only did a few I got sick of that quickly they're in that little baggie just under my left hand there so just popping my all my hearts in now my camera did cut off before I um, stuck my doily and my little circle on the top and that's pretty much all I do um, I was just in the in the moment of creating and I didn't realize my camera had stopped filming but um, all I do is stick the doily and that little circle on top and I'm going to show you the shaker now um, that heart is stuck on Corinne's face so I don't know whether I'm going to have to undo everything and try and move it because I've been flicking it and it won't move but I'm really happy with the way this um, turned out. I'm going to put some journaling on the back. So that's it for me today guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you all had an um, awesome National Scrapbooking Day or weekend. Um, got some stills here for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.